So if you think back to our first lab when we were just getting the hang of uh, Agisoft Metashape and learning the, the basic workflow, we worked with this set of images uh, from the Rinker Rock Creek Ranch. And if you noticed at the time, it was a nice grid of photos, except there was a hole up here at the upper left corner. And uh, the reason that there was a, a hole there is because those images actually cause some problems. They don't align properly. And so for, uh, for this lab, for this exercise, we're going to walk through what you do in the case when you have uh, images that don't uh, want to behave and they don't want to align. So uh, let's go ahead. I've loaded the images in already. I've not done any kind of alignment. But let's add those extra uh, images in that I conveniently left out in the first lab. And uh, okay, so you can see there's two photos here, 479 and 480. Now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, do the alignment here. Um, you can just, for, for the purposes now, just use a low accuracy alignment so it goes pretty quick. And uh, we'll just pause here for a second. All right, so the alignment's done. It took about a minute here. And I got this uh, message box that popped up that said some of my photos failed to align. And this can be really frustrating, especially if you've uh, you know, you followed all the steps, you think you've got a good image set, and then just occasionally something goes wrong and they don't align. So what do we do uh, with this? So first notice that it's aligned everything except for these two photos up in the corner. They're still showing up as dots and not as the image thumbnails. And uh, first thing we want to do is actually take a look at those images. So in the bottom of the image tray, here's the two that didn't align. Notice there's no check mark in the in the corner next to them, that uh, which is our indicator that they that they are aligned. And so let's just open these up and look at them. And what I'm looking at first of all is to make sure that they're actually like good quality photos. They're not blurry. There's not some sort of weird you know camera thing that went on that that would cause a problem with them aligning. And uh, you know they they look pretty good to me. Um, we can look at both of them here. Okay, so there's just something that's happening here that's uh, um, that's causing them not to align. And so the procedure for this in Metashape is to um, use some uh, control markers to actually manually tie these photos to some of the photos that did align. So let's flip over here and look at our model again. And I'm gonna zoom in here. And we want to pick some photos where uh, are adjacent, where we're going to have some overlapping uh, uh, portions of the image. So 478 is one of them. That's the previous one in the flight line. And then it looks like 462, but that's sort of oriented the wrong way. Let's pick this one next to it, which is 463. All right. So. Now let's open all these things up. So here's uh, image 478. And then if I right click on these guys, on this image, I can choose open in a new tab. Okay, and that's gonna bring it up next to this so I can just toggle back and forth really easily between them. And we'll open up uh, 480 here in a new tab. And then what 463 was my other one, right? So let's open that one in a new tab. Now, 463 though, is it 463 that I wanted? Yeah, 463. And so if we zoom in uh, on the model here and, and look, see how it's oriented here? So this uh, Aspen kind of riparian area is at the top of the image, but here it's at the bottom, right? And this is gonna make life difficult. So what I'm gonna do is just up here on the toolbar is uh, just click the rotate button and turn that thing around so that it's more or less oriented the same way that the uh, that my other images are. Okay. All right. So I've got all four of my images. 479 and 80 are the ones that I need to uh, to align. Now the way this works is if I make four uh, ground control markers and uh, tie them to photos that did align. So if I put four markers in this image that did not align and tie them to photos that did align, then I should be able to align this, this photo, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick a spot in here where it uh, looks like I might have something 
distinct, right? So here's this guy right here. Is that a rock? Um, maybe a rock. Okay, so let's see if I can find that in the other images as well. So that is about this area there. Okay, there's the rock in 478. Um, where's that area here? Here we go. There's a rock in 480. And then this is a trick. Can I find it in this one? 463. There's my rock. All right, good. So I found the same object in all four of these images. Okay. And there's this little kind of dimple up here on the rock that I can see pretty, pretty well. All right, so I'll come over here into my first image and I'm going to right click on there and choose add marker. Okay. I can move that around to make sure it's where I want it to be. All right, so that's on uh, 478. And then in 479, I'm going to come to the same spot. I'm going to right click and do place marker and choose point number one. And same thing for these other ones. Okay. And then, okay, look, this is good. So in image 463, it's figured out where point one should be. It's doing its best guess. So we're just going to move that down to the right spot. Okay. All right, good. There's one. So uh, let's zoom back out and see if we can find something else here. All right, so here's, here's this guy, right? That's actually a cow pie. There's a joke in here somewhere about crappy ground control, but um, I'm going to leave that alone. So uh, here we go. Is this our same cow pie here, or we have, nope, it's this one right here. There we go. Let's find it in this image too. Oh, it's right over here on the edge. Yep, there we go. And 463. There it is right there. Okay, good. And we're going to come here and we're just going to put a ground control marker right in the middle of this cow pie. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Right click. I'm going to choose uh, point 2 from place marker and I'm going to place the marker there and uh, wait why is it why is it not showing oh I had the wrong cow pie there we go good all right good so there's two of the four okay so I'm going to go ahead and pause this I'm going to pick two more of these locations and then I'll start back up again and show you what we got. All right, so here are my four ground control markers that I identified on these images. Uh, I've got my rock, my cow pie, and then in uh, these areas I actually picked some of these uh, low growing yellow flowers that were pretty easy to uh, uh, to find in these images. So uh, for these you want to pick things that are really pretty close to the ground so you're not going to get a lot of uh, uh, differences in in sort of displacement uh, from the different images and I gotta say th this is actually a challenging set of images to do this on because it's just so busy there's so much vegetation happening in here so so these are my four now if I'm lucky at this point then if I uh, if I right click on these images and uh, choose align cameras bingo we got uh, our, our image 479 to align. And same thing if I do 480, I can try to align that one. All right, there we go. So there may be some value in adding a couple more ground control points here uh, to try to lock this in. I'd certainly want to try to find uh, some from these other regions, though, because these are edge images, I'm probably not going to have anything from this sort of quarter of the image. But if I can, uh, tag things in these other areas that's just going to help kind of lock that that exterior orientation of these images in a little bit better though there's probably a kind of point of diminishing return here you don't want to like uh, overkill it in terms of uh, uh, adding these control markers uh, for this purpose um, it's probably just not really worth the effort but if I look over at the model again um, and zoom back out now you can see I've got my two uh, photos aligned, the two that weren't uh, aligning before. And so at this point, now I can proceed with that, that model optimization step and really try to, to kind of lock in and dial in this model as best I can. So 
you know, it is possible to deal with photos that don't align. Usually if you have a, a really good flight plan or, uh, or image set, it'll only be like one or two photos that you're having trouble with. Um, if you have a project uh, like you've collected a whole bunch of uh, photos, either like with a cell phone or some sort of other camera, or you've done it in free flight, then it becomes like really a challenge to get those uh, things to align. And it's just one of those situations where you gotta do the best that you can, that you can do. So hopefully this is useful to you in, uh, in figuring out how to deal with that situation where you have images that don't align. Mm -hmm.